Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is another um, wreath tutorial DIY and everything is from the Dollar Tree. And this one is going to be pretty simple. So um, what you're going to need is one of the heart wreath frames, uh, wire wreath frames from the Dollar Tree. And um, you're also going to need, I would pick up at least two rolls of the ribbon that you um just whatever you want, but I think I'm going to use these. I'm not sure if I'm going to use both rolls or if I'll just um, only need one roll, but um, make sure that you check the description box and I will have a full materials list listed down below of what all I used. Um, I'm also going to be using some of these roses that I picked up from the Dollar Tree and I'm still not sure how many um, I'm going to be using so make sure that you do check the description box so to get started all we're going to do is first we're going to start with taking off the tag you have to excuse my scissors I got hot glue all over them from a previous project I was doing um, and then I'm going to go ahead and take the wrapping off of this ribbon So all I'm going to do is start by, um, I'm just going to be wrapping this whole entire frame in my ribbon. So I'm just going to, let's see here, find a point here. I'll just start right here is good. Um, just take your hot glue gun. I really need to put this stuff on the other side of me. But just going to put a little bit of hot glue on the frame there and then I'm just kind of folding the ribbon over just a little bit just to get it started just to hold it there and then all we're going to do is just wrap just wrapping the um, frame and this ribbon. That's that's all. It's really simple. You'll want to wrap it kind of tight but not too not too tight. This is a really nice ribbon. It feels um, really sturdy. It feels almost like cloth ribbon. So anyway, I'm just going to wrap this all the way around the wreath and um, cut off the end and secure it with some hot glue. And then I will come back and show you what the next step is. Okay, so after you get it all wrapped around with your ribbon, this should be what it looks like and um, that's this is the back side so do it like that then you're going to grab your roses and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and keep the leaves so I'm going to push all the leaves up um, to the top of the rose there and then I'm just going to go in and I'm going to cut, not all the way up to um, here, but just a little bit below that. So, I don't know if you guys can see. Here, I'll clip one off. So you'll just leave a little bit um, sticking out of the stem. So I'm going to go through and do that to all of these roses, cut all of them off. And then... And I haven't quite decided yet, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do half of this rose um, or half of this wreath in roses. And then this other half over here, I'm just going to leave like it is. And then down here on the bottom, I'm going to be adding a bow. So you won't need the roses to fill up the very um, end down here unless, um, unless you're not going to do a bow. If you're not going to do a bow, then you don't have to... Um, then you're going to want to go ahead and add roses to the end down here. 
but um, I think I'm going to be putting a bow on it, so I'm going to leave a space for my bow to go. And then I'm just going to go through and hot glue these roses on. So um, let me go ahead. I think I'll probably leave probably about three or four inches for my bow to go. So um, since I'm going to do that, put some hot glue here on this rose. And I'm just going to start hot gluing these down. I'll let that set there for a minute. Let it set up a little bit. And then go ahead and just keep adding, adding my roses. So I'm just going to go through and I'm going to go and hot glue all of my roses all the way up until I get to um, about the middle part about the middle where those where it starts to go down into the point I'm gonna stop it about right there with my roses and then I think I'm just gonna leave this side over here open so I'm gonna go ahead and go through and start um, hot gluing all my roses on and then I will come back and show you uh, what the next step is okay so um, this is what it looks like so far and I did not put the roses all the way down here because that is where my bow is going to go. So um, that's totally up to you. If you want to add a bow, go right ahead. Um, if not, just go ahead and finish filling in uh, probably a couple more roses down here on the bottom. But this is what it looks like so far without the bow. And then I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to add a hanger to this. Um, all I did was take a half of a pipe cleaner. Um, I'll show you here. I just took a half of a pipe cleaner. And then I'm just looping it over to where the um, feet touch each other. And just I'm just going to put my finger in through. And then I'm just going to twist these two little feet together. So that this makes a loop. And I'm twisting them all the way down. And then um, instead of leaving this end, I just kind of bend it up. So it has sort of like a, a little circle. So um, what I'm going to do is turn my wreath over. And I'm going to just take my pipe cleaner or my hanger. And if you fill in through here, you can find the... Um, center wire that's in there on this frame so where that center wire is I am just going to hot glue my pipe cleaner in there um, just right on top of my ribbon that's all I'm going to do so go ahead hopefully my hot glue gun is hot enough for this okay Find the center of that again, right there. So. Okay, I just put sort of like a pretty good dollop of glue right there. I'm just going to hold that there until it kind of sets up. So that way um, you can use this as the hanger to hang on your door. So, okay, so I'm going to show you, I showed you guys that part. I'm going to go ahead and attach my bow that I made. And then um, that will be the end of this tutorial. So make sure you stay tuned till the end of the video. And I will have uh, pictures posted of what this looks like um, hung up on a door. And um, make sure you check the description box down below because I will leave a list of all the materials that I used and how much of everything that I used. 
So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. I hope you guys are having a really good day. I wanted to thank you all for watching, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.